We love uh, messing with radio shows. You know that. Um, we love making We love making phony phone calls to radio and they uh, they make it so easy for us. But uh you know, I just wanted to uh, play you this little piece. A lot of uh, a lot of the radio, this is the, the the radio show. They have these strange complicated rules for calling into their shows. They're dumb rules. But well, as soon as Tradio announces these dumb rules, it's like music to Sal and Richard's ears because they love pranking. And they spring into phony phone call immediate action and they break the rules. And in the past, they've messed with these shows that limited the number of items and phone numbers a caller can give out. And I'm just to refresh your memory because they've done it again. There were new rules given out. Oh, and they, okay. but, but just to give you a walk down uh, memory lane. Here, here, are, here from the past is Richard and Sal. They hear the rules and then they break them. Thank you for participating in Swap and Shop. Please limit to five items or less and only one contact phone number, please. Swap and Shop. Hi, I have 47 items and 93 different contact phone numbers. Uh, you can... <laughs> and let's... Uh, maybe maybe you, you can find something better to do with your life. Uh, we're done for the day. Bye bye. Yeah. Richard and Stout ruin everything. Uh, they also called a show that wouldn't allow, if you remember this one, I'm sure you do, they wouldn't allow chickens to be sold due to a statewide poultry ban. And of course, the right. boys called in to sell chickens. And welcome in. Swap Shop is here. Before we go any further in the program, due to the statewide ban on poultry sales in the state of Georgia, we cannot have any chickens, poultry, roosters, turkey, anything with wings, feathers. Let's not do it. Phone lines are open. Let's go to the phone lines now. Good morning. You're on Swap Shop. Good morning. How are you today? Doing well. I'm selling uh, two uh, medium-sized chickens. All right. We are not allowed to... uh, have chicken sales on Swap Shop this morning. Uh, good morning. You're on the air. Hey, cuz, I'm going to buy those chickens. What was the no? No, you're not. Uh, not. We're not playing these games, and you keep calling. It's not going to happen. Good morning. You're on the air. I got a rooster for sale. We're not allowed to sell chickens here on Swap Shop. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to state that here on Swap Shop. Good morning. You're on the air. <laughs> All right, we are not going to be taking any more phone calls, as uh, as the saying goes, one bad apple ruins the bunch. Right, and as the saying goes, what? I mean, I love that guy, and I love when Richard. R- R- this is like like Richard and Sal have nothing to do all day except sit and bother people at Swap Shop. So there's a new one. They recently found a radio show with really strict rules about calling and texting. Uh, Sal and Richard immediately started both calling and texting the host. (laughs) (laughs) And of course, chaos ensued. So here it is for your listening pleasure. The most powerful hour in radio. Radio. By the way, I do want to take umbrage with that. The most powerful hour in radio. Isn't that uh, a little strong? False advertising. Mm, Okay. I, I, I just wanted to say it. I don't want to be gauche and say we might have the most powerful hour in radio, but... Uh, we just might. Okay. <laughs> the most powerful hour in radio. Radio. Good Tuesday morning. Let's get right to it. Callers can call or text. And very important here, limit one call or text per day. That means you can't do both. You can't text after you call or call after you text or call after you call or text after you text. You get one shot at it. We'll uh, discuss the rules more as we go along. Let's get into some buying, selling, and trading on Tradio. Good morning, caller. You're live and on Tradio. I got a doghouse for sale. I'm just asking $25 for it. I texted it, too. I didn't know if you were going to read that, so I figured I'd just call also. I hope that's okay. It's actually against the rules, but since you're uh, sounds like your first-time caller, that's okay for today. Now, if you do do it again, I'm going to have to mark you. But uh, anyway. Oh, what does that mean if you mark somebody? Does well, that mean if, I'm if, staying if, for life? Yeah, I'm going to mark them as a double texter, and I'll just uh, I just won't read their stuff. Oh, okay. But if they call you, mark them too? Uh, if I've already, yeah, yeah. If somebody tries to, to do their stuff twice, call and text, yeah, I'm, I'm going to mark them. Because I'll go back and I'll end up reading that text message again. And now that person has been on the show twice. And now everybody else is like, well, I can't, why can't I get on the show twice? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a great day. God bless you. Thank you, you so God much. bless. Thank you. You take care. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. That last caller who said he was a first-timer 
I sent you a text today, as you could see, for a sewing machine, and he delayed you reading my text, so he should be marked. Well, sir, but you but you just said it yourself, though. You you just said you've already texted in today. What the hell? So oh. wrong with that? Oh my goodness, man! The guy's getting mad. I understand, sir, you're taking up time, but you've also texted in, and now you're calling in to complain about another caller. And now you're taking up. You're you're doing exactly what you're upset about. I just want to make it through this hour and help you guys sell your stuff. I don't want to curse on the radio or none of that stuff, man. I just want to get through this hour. Good morning, caller. You're live and on radio. Uh, yeah, hi. I have an item that's way more important than the other items people are selling, so I texted it, and uh, now I'm going to call it in, too. I have a... <laughs> oh, there we go. So now they have lost their texting privileges. All right. Doubled up. Text ban. All right, I got time for a few text messages here. Uh, this person texting, that was pretty rude that you banned somebody from the text line. You just ruined their weekend. I dare you to ban me. Well, let me tell you what. Uh, I say it every time I come back from a break. If you text me and then five minutes later you call me because you don't have enough patience like everybody else, I can't trust you. I just can't do it. So uh, that's just the way it goes. All right. I just chipped my tooth on the microphone. Wow. <laughs> Clear off my face. So now I got a big chip taken out of my tooth from doing Tradio, man. So uh, that's just the way it goes. All right. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Hey, cuz. First things first, how's your tooth? It's been better. It's been better, but we're going to power through. Well, bless you for powering through the pain. Thank you. But anyway, I'm selling a paddle. That's perfect Alrighty. for keeping these gosh darn troublemakers in line. All right. <laughs> if they text and call, they're going to get whacked. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the person with the uh, sewing machine. And I also just texted you this item as well. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I just broke the rules myself. Yeah, well, pretty much, yeah. I'm going to mark your name down on the text line as someone who doubles oh, up on Tradio. Ouch! I'm whacking myself oh, with the paddle. Oh, I'm what? officially banned. Oh, you can go ahead and cut me off. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. We're we're not we're not going to discuss the rules anymore for the rest of the show. We're just going to let it go. Wow. Keep it here. More buying, selling, and trading on the way on Tradio. Why do they? I mean, why? I mean, first of all, who's calling into that shit? Uh, it, it, what do they care if they text and they call? What 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 is yeah, with all the rules? Give over the text if you've already talked to them. Why does that host even give a damn? Who would notice if he read the same item twice? Who's listening that closely? Don't you love when people make rules where they're none needed? <laughs> and then they fool around trying to enforce them, and it's impossible. Richard and Sal upset this guy so much he chipped his tooth on the microphone. I've never heard I of know, that, that before. I know, that was the best. Uh, us professional broadcasters, we never chip our teeth on the microphone. At least he wasn't whistling. You know how sometimes you chip those teeth mm -hmm. and then you start to whistle? <laughs> By the way, we found this statement on the Tradio website and thought it was pretty funny. Prank calls are not tolerated on Tradio. Anyone caught calling into Tradio with silly or ridiculous items will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Reminder to parents, you could be held responsible for the actions of children when they are unattended. So, you They know. think Sal and Richard are children, so do we. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and who gets to decide what qualifies as silly or ridiculous <laughs> but what is the full extent of the law have sal and richard felt the full extent of the law i just know people sometimes kill people and they don't even go to jail i don't i don't i'm not sure what they're talking about what do but, you get for calling tradio yeah